we are discussing the international human resource features of uh, small and medium enterprises. And in this topic, we are going to discuss the recruitment, selection, and retention of staff in SMEs. You know that recruitment, selection, and retention of staff is a very important function of human resource management. What are the various different issues that are related with this particular function with the perspective of SMEs? This is something that we are going to discuss in this topic. Uh, you know that SMEs, they have got less exposure, they have less name in the market. People uh, do not consider them as legitimate and as successful as they considered, uh, as they considered uh, multinational organization. So there are a number of uh, staffing issues in SMEs. Um, therefore, they have more difficulty than larger firm in recruiting adequate international managers. Uh, secondly, many less qualified employees are employed by the SMEs because they do not meet the requirements of the organizations which are multinational. So multinationals mein jo log select nahi hote, wo phir jab bach jate hain, to uh, SMEs ko chunke uh, people are not attracted towards SMEs, that is why less capable and people with less credentials are employed by the SMEs. So they get a lesser quality of uh, staff and human resources uh, in terms of people that are being employed by the SMEs. Usually the owners or the founders or the management team, they have a lot of potential. They have a lot of ideas and they can innovate. But when it comes to hiring staff, which you pay uh, and uh, uh, you keep on a salary, that it creates a difficulty for the SMEs because they don't have that kind of status in the market. Uh, SMEs, they are perceived to lack legitimacy as employers uh, with a strong international or, uh, orientation. So uh, people who are the labor market, who are coming to get employed, they don't consider them as, leg uh, as legitimate for the international experience. So uh, an, ex um, uh, an interview was conducted uh, with one of the HR managers in uh, working in an SME, an, ex an expert from uh, an excerpt that from that interview, it uh, verbatim it says, you get these big multinationals who cream off the top graduates and production operators, which leaves a small business very vulnerable in terms of the quality and availability of labor. So there is less labor available and the, lab uh, the, the quality of the staff is lower than that which is available for the multinationals. All right, so a study was conducted um, on the perception of people uh, about employment in the SMEs. So according to that study, advantages of working in an SME were considered by people to be number one, they considered that uh, working in an SME would have a good working atmosphere because it has a smaller, uh, it is working on a smaller scale. So uh, people ex uh, expect that there would be friendly relations and there would be a good working environment. Then there would be less anonymity. When you बहुत anonymous हो जाते हैं आपको कोई नहीं जानता आप एक you you seem to be a part of a machine but when you are working in a uh, SME you become less anonymous because uh, they have a lesser number of people and there is a lot more potential for you to become prominent in that uh, organization. Uh, then the, another advantage which is perceived is high degree of information. Uh, in large organizations, information which is only uh, pertaining to your role or your job is communicated to you. But in SMEs, because it is an informal culture, a more close-knit culture, you get more information about the general objectives or strategy of the organization. What is actually happening here? What are you doing? What future? What are you planning in the future? So, there is more information sharing in SMEs. Ke 
एंड देन लो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मोबिलिटी ये भी परसेप्शन है कि आपको मल्टा नेशनल्स में आपकी पोस्टिंग्स हो जाती हैं आपको ट्रांसफर्स कर दी आपकी ट्रांसफ़र कर दी जाती है तो स्मॉल जो इंटरप्राइजेज़ हैं वहाँ पे लोगों की ये परसेप्शन होती है कि क्योंकि इनका तो इतना बड़ा नेटवर्क नहीं है तो आपको ज़्यादा मोबिलिटी जो है वो नहीं शो करनी पड़ेगी सो दीज आर द परसेप्शन ऑफ पीपल अबाउट एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन एस the disadvantages of employment in smes as considered by people in the survey uh, number one the people consider that there are lesser career opportunities uh, there are lesser employee benefits uh, they cannot provide benefits like retirement or medical plans or um, uh, cover of uh, cover for uh, you know uh, contingencies so um, uh, there are lesser employee benefits Uh, then uh, it is considered uh, that uh, an SME would would be less progressive. So a disadvantage is that uh, progressiveness of the company is considered to be uh, low in SMEs. Uh, then people uh, consider that training programs would not be uh, as formal and as useful as there are in multinationals. So आजकल तो जो career development model है उसमें ट्रेनिंग uh, अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ को भी बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंस देते हैं लोग कि आप किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जाके क्या सीखते हैं सो सम टाइम्स पीपल इवन गो फॉर लोअर पेज एंड लोअर कॉम्पनसेशन बिकॉज द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स और द लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज़ वेरी हाई सो लोग कहते हैं कि हम सीखेंगे वहाँ वहाँ जाके सो एस एम ईज में ट्रेनिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज जो हैं वो लिमिटेड होती हैं इसलिए दिस इज कंसिडर टू बी अ परसीव डिसएडवांटेज देन पे डेफिनेटली आप यू आर नॉट पेड एज हेफ्टिली एज यू आर पेड इन मल्टा नेशनल दिस इज अ परसेप्शन एंड देन इंटरनेशनल वर्किंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज बिकॉज एस एम ईज दे ऑलरेडी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ बैरियर्स फॉर इंटरनेशनलाइजेशन सो इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट इफ यू आर एम्प्लॉयड बाई एन एस एम ई यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेन सम काइंड ऑफ इंटरनेशनल एक्सपीरियंस सो दिस इज कंसिडर टू बी अ डिसएडवाटेज बाई पीपल हु कंसिडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन एन एस एम ई सो दीज वर द वेरियस डिफरेंट रिक्रूटमेंट सेलेक्शन एंड रिटेंशन इशूज ऑफ स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस